Well, I don't suppose that means... All right, welcome back, you? everybody, uh, to the movies. Uh, we're about to go to the 1930 awards ceremony, but hopefully we can get this movie out in time before that happens. Um, I don't know that it's going to be a number one movie. Um, I kind of doubt it, but it's possible it will, because we have the number two movie right now. Um, but let me pull everybody over here that needs to be over here. Just so we can hopefully get this started. Okay, no extra in the first scene. It's Tina and Bacon Burger. Well, Tina's sitting I'm in jail. <laughs> It's a wrap. Thank you. I'm pretty sure for the next scene we're going to need the extra. Um, which is, uh, I'm guessing Elliot Attridge probably. Yeah. I'll pull him over. Okay, get in the place, Bacon. Little and cut. slap fight going on. You're listening to KMVS. Music and it's interesting a wrap. speech Thank throughout you. the day. Please don't touch that dial. Well, it looks like we're going to get some... Uh, movie making technology before the award so I think when this movie's done we will uh, wait until we get that movie making technology and then release it attention a new rival studio is just opened for business Okay, let's give everybody a, a, li a little bit of raise, not too much. Um, make her 50,000. Let's get him 40,000. Get Josie up there a little bit. That should make everybody a little happier. Can archive an old movie. It's a wrap. Thank you. Newsflash, the stock market has crashed after dropping through the floor. Traders wept and threw themselves from bridges. As the news came, the market had shattered and melted into a thousand pieces. Analysts are investigating whether the market can be glued together or whether a totally new stock market is a better bet. Okay, so the stock market crash. That makes comedy movies more popular. Um, this is a sci-fi movie which was popular. I don't know if it's still going to be popular, but I'm going to wait until this happens and then I'm going to release this movie. And what is this? Costumes. Okay, there, there's a... Uh, There's the, the movie making technology, so hopefully that comes into play on this movie right here. If it does, then we'll probably get a number one movie. If not, then we probably won't. I don't know. I don't know that we will. Um, well, we can watch the movie. I hate jail. There's nothing to eat here. <laughs> I 
I didn't. E I didn't even have. T I didn't even have time to come up with anything there. That was so short. <laughs> I, I don't know that that's gonna be a number one movie. Um, is it? It is. Okay. Nice. Okay. Look at this. So we just got the three star script office. Um, whereas we only had the one before, which is nice. Um, the next achievement is the publicity office. Um, all we have to do now is get one of our stars to be a three star star and release a three star movie. And that's not going to take any time at all. In fact, that's probably going to take the next episode. <laughs> um, after the awards, because we already did the three star milestone and released 15 movies. Publicity Office sucks, um, but I know how to work with it, so it'll make it easier. But that's part of the reason the game's not fun, eventually, um, is because of the pu Publicity Office. But let's get Tina out front with Bacon, get them talking, and we'll get them a little temporary paparazzi love. May I have your attention, please? A new pack is available for research in the lab. So they just snap some photos. Here's another guy in line here. Patrick Martin. He might be our guy. He might be the guy that we hire. Let's make him an extra. He's I think he's gonna be our guy. He's a stress pot, but um Greetings! William McDuff here. How are you? Telegram me and let me know. But now that he's an extra, let's just get him practicing, um, get him a little bit of experience and stuff, and then we'll make him a star. Um, May I have your attention, please? A new pack is available for research in the lab. Okay, yeah, get out of here. May I have your attention, please? Today's the big awards day. The studio head's presence is required at the ceremony. Okay, I'm trying to catch up to Tina. She's eluding me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 1930 Lionhead Motion Picture Awards Ceremony. Tonight, we'll be revealing the winners of the most prestigious awards in movie making. So without further delay, let's move on to our first category. The nominees for highest charting star are... Ah, uh, yes! The winner is... That's Tina Peterson. Movies that capture the imagination of the public and show creative innovation often make it to the top of the movie charts. These films have achieved just that and will contest the highest charting movie award. This is whatever movie we just put out. I don't even remember the name. Was it Robot Overlord or Overload or something? I don't remember, but that's what this, and the this is... movie is. Yeah, robot, robot overload. No, robot overboard. <laughs> the nominees <laughs> for highest ranking studio are. It's enjoyed huge success. Please put your hands together for. Okay, we got that one, and and I'm, I got my Next, fingers crossed here for this. Next, we have our award from most prestigious studio lot. The nominees are. If we get it, we our scientists research in the laboratory faster, which is a very nice uh, bonus to have. And the winner is. Okay, we got it, which is which is really good. And that concludes our award ceremony. We've witnessed some truly talented individuals and companies rewarded for their hard work tonight. 
Make sure you join us next time when we'll be introducing a new award for highest climbing studio, which will be presented to the most improved studio. We'd like to thank you all for joining us. Good night. Well, unfortunately, we can't win that one because we're already at number one. The only way we could win it is if we completely tank and then climb back up to number one, which I don't want to do. Um, all we have to do is release a three-star movie, and that's going to happen in the next episode. And then we're going to get the publicity office. Um, we're going to rip right through all these, uh, except for the last one we're probably not going to do. But this one here is the, f the eighth one is the five-star everything, which is actually the, technically the hardest thing to do. Because this last one's just a grind. It's, it's easy to do. It just takes time to do it. But this one's the difficult one. Um, so, with that said... Um, we got we got all the same awards and we got a, the new one for the peep, the laboratory um, which is good um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the game here it's interesting because we uh, we've gone to two award ceremonies now we've we've won all the awards all seven of the awards that have been available to us which um, you, you know is pretty pretty unique I don't think many I've seen any other let's plays get that many awards uh, um, so I'm pretty happy where we are right now and we're gonna really this is the point where we're actually gonna just pull away from everybody we're gonna have like all the number one movies from this point forward um, because we just unlocked the three star um, movie uh, writing studio um, so so that's where we're at um, where, where my head is at right now is um, I'm going to bring Josie Pussycat and have her now make movies with Tina Peterson and Baconburger. Um, so those three are always going to be working on, on the big movies together. Um, Kirsty McKinnell, my other director, she's going to be working now exclusively with, I believe his name was Patrick Martin. He was the, the guy we just hired, this extra. Um, this guy right here, he kind of looks like a schnozberry here and that book is levitating both their books are levitating um so patrick martin here is going to be working with christy doing a lot of shorter movies um i like this girl a lot uh aron titley uh her name is cool um she's good at, at everything or she's she's got good experience and stuff and she's not a stress pot or anything um, so I like her. So maybe at some point, of, if maybe if Patrick Martin doesn't work out, we can maybe switch uh, him out with a, a Ron Titley. But we've got them both as extras right now, so they're practicing, getting experience. Um, and once they do, I'll bring him in, bring him in anyways as a, a, a movie star. Um, unfortunately, these these two didn't make the cut. Um, Michael Wolgar and uh, Emma Putak, but maybe there we'll have a use for them uh, somewhere else in the studio. Uh, Jackie Keys, we need to find a, a spot for maybe some entourage or something. Looks like we've got a, a, another scriptwriter, Jason Guan, also that is looking for employment. Um, so we've got a lot of people because we're number one. There's a lot of people wanting to work here. Um, I'm not going to hire more. I'll probably five or six will be the most that we hire as far as actors and directors and stuff. But um, we're doing fantastic. Um, I just want you to know that. I, just from experience of me playing this game before, I, I know that we're in a really good position. So if you want to keep watching, um, you know, you'll, you'll probably see me rip through a lot of uh, the wards and stuff. And uh, I'll have, we'll have five-star everything probably early 1950s. I think the earliest I've ever done it is 1950. Um, so maybe like in 50, 51, 52, um, up to 55. In that range somewhere, we'll have five-star everything. And at that point, we'll, the game will pretty much be over. But that's still a ways away. And there's a lot of fun to be had uh, in the meantime. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, while we just came back from the wards, we'll start fresh next time. Um, and I, I can really think about what exactly we want to do next. But um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. So long, everybody.